Hey, Mike Callahan here with a quick how-to to build an automated text message with response based on um, what the person texts you back and to build automations around that. So uh, the example I'm going to show you is the dispatching of a job on the dispatch board for a tree delivery, a text message to the client once that job is dispatched, and they will be able to text yes or no um, as a response, and then we can trigger more automations off that and a notification on the dispatch board or in my day screen um, in Service Autopilot. So I'm going to get into this and show you how to build an automation to send a text once a job is dispatched. So this can work in so many different ways um, I won't even get into, but uh, use your imagination. This is some awesome functionality SA has built. So the first thing is I'm going to show you how it works, and then I'll show you how to actually build it out in automations. So we're going to go to the dispatch board. Uh, I'm going to go here and click on this client. We are going to add a job. One-time job. Tree delivery. Dispatch today, and it is going to be assigned to me. And we are going to save that. So once we have this tree delivery job here, we're going to go to the scheduling dispatch board. So if this was to be dispatched today and we wanted to send the customer a text message to let them know we're on our way to drop off their tree, all we would do is literally go in and select it. I'm going to find my resource here so you can see it. Hit apply. That job is undispatched right here, so I'm going to click on it, hit Actions and Dispatch. And now that that is dispatched, I will be getting a text message on my phone alerting me that um, the tree delivery was coming. And at that point, um, I'm going to text back here now and type the word yes. And that's saying I confirm that it's okay to have the tree delivered today. And then, right here, a text message was received with the option of yes. So that's the whole external workflow outside of the automation of how things work. And we could respond back here. So I'm going to actually dive into the actual automation and show you how to build this out. Uh, so this is my test automation. And once this loads, I'll show you. So we're going to have call ahead rules. It's going to, job was dispatched as a trigger for tree delivery. And the stop sequence was, has the call ahead tag confirmed? So once they've confirmed, they accept the date and time for the tree delivery, um, this automation would stop. Now, how they get that tag is a response to the call ahead tag. So we're going to send this between 5 a.m. and 7 p.m. and we're going to expect a response. So in the response, we're going to say it's assigned to Mike, my role is the owner, and if they type yes, we are going to add the tag, call ahead tag was confirmed. And that is going to trigger the rest of the automation. If you wanted to go a little bit deeper and say no, we could select another tag um, here that could signify go ahead and reschedule the job. So hopefully this makes sense. So this is the response to the text. So we're sending a text message with this body. We will be out to service your property on job date, which is based off the dispatch board. Please type yes to confirm. If you do not want the service this day, please text no, the Callahan's team. So under responses, we would have to type no, add a tag, and continue the automation down the line. We have auto responses based on their submission to the text message. In addition, now that we've done this, we want to call ahead alert. So this is going to come up on this little uh, bell here for alerts. So name, call ahead alert confirmed, and we'd assign it to whoever we wanted to see it. So it was myself and my test client uh, employee as well. But you can go down the line, and then if you wanted, you could build some logic into this. If the yes thing was sent, we can set up an automation here, or if the no tag was selected, we would have other instructions here how to reschedule the tree delivery. So as you can see, this is going to save hours and hours of time back and it, it, 
just amplify your communication with your customers. So hopefully, if you have any questions, drop this below, but this is how you build this out. If you don't want to build it out yourself, um, the Simple Growth team and myself will be flying out to Dallas, Texas here later this month in July, where we're going to be working alongside with SA, building out a bunch of free automations that are going to be able to be downloaded on um, the Service Autopilot Marketplace. So if there's any automations that you want to see built, um, make some suggestions because we're looking to find a few more automations that people want and build them out free of charge and put them on the marketplace. Um, any questions or comments below, drop them and hopefully this uh, automated text automation will help buy some time back. And uh, just a quick note, if you do not have two-way texting, this will not work. So you need to purchase that um, for your company before you have this feature enabled. Thanks a lot.